Welcome back little coders and in this video I'm going to be teaching about math functions in Roblox Studio. So for this video I'm going to be explaining the, some math functions that are in Roblox Studio that I think might be useful to you. Before I get started I want to just mention that if you're completely new to my channel or to Roblox Studio itself I recommend you go to my beginner series and watch the videos from there as well as my advanced series so that this stuff makes way more sense than if it did if you didn't watch the other videos. Anyway, let's get started. So right here I have a couple of the math functions I'm gonna be sharing with you guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and give an example about each one and try to explain what they do. So the first one up here print math dot floor two or this giant number here so what this does is the main function here is math dot floor that's what this is so what math dot floor does is it rounds down a number like I bet you already learned a math class of like how to round down a number for example like if you had XP in uh, Roblox and you had a number like this it wouldn't be too pretty to see so math.floor would round it down to a normal number or a number how or a number that you would see like usually so that's a use for math.floor so if we run the game here down here it says 2 because that's what it is round it down so we can do that so math.floor rounds down a number math.ceiling well ceiling is the full name but they call it math.ceil so math.ceil is basically the opposite of math.floor you know floor ground ceiling up you know so basically math.ceil does the opposite of math.floor it just rounds the number up so it's going to most likely give us three and you can see down here we got three so I can stop this now and I can add those dots back or those dashes so the next thing is print math.huge and what this does is that it prints the largest number it will usually just give us infinity or INF for short so math.huge yeah, down here infinity it just prints the largest number and they're basically infinite numbers so that's why it gives INF instead of like an actual number so yeah, you can print the largest number by using math.huge. Then down here we have some of these, math.degree. So math.degree and math. Dot, well, yeah, math.degree is sort of the opposite of math.rad. I have taught you this before in one of my other videos about math.random, I believe. Or, no, math.cframe. So in there, you can do... So you know how it works, like for example, I'm going to do cframe.angles, and you know how you need radians in order to do the angles, so basically you would do math.rad, and, and then you type in the number as the degree and then it will convert it into radians for it to work with the function here. So basically math.degree does opposite. You put in some radians and then it just converts it into degrees. So that's basically what it does. Then math.pi, I bet you guys already know what pi is. It's like a popular number. Three point something. Okay, uh print math dot so if we run the game now, yeah, down here, 3.14 and all those other numbers. So basically what math.pi is, is that it prints out pi. Well, not a pi that you eat, of course, but you know what I mean. So we can remove this now, or you know what, we can leave it. Print. So that we can do the other ones with it. Math.power, what this does is that it does like the power to a number if you know that means. Let me just type this in. So what you do is you type in here, number x, number y. 
So we're going to do maybe five and six. So I was going to do five to the power of six. That's what this says. So power is short for power, I believe. So if we do this, it's going to do five times five, you know. So it's going to do five multiplied by the same number six times. Like how it basically does in math. Here you go. This is the number you get. So it does the math for you. It doesn't give the equation, but it just, it gives you the answer to it. So it could be useful for like maybe a multiplier. I'm not sure, but it still exists. So I want to share it with you guys. Anyway, math dot. And the last one on the list here is ABS. So it's going to give the absolute value. So what it's going to do here is with math the absolute value, it's going to sort of get the number. Or yeah, it's going to get any number that you put into the brackets, and then it's going to find of how far it is from zero, and then give the output. So if we type, for example, negative 100, it will give us 100. But don't think of it as it just gives us a positive number. That's not how it really works. But the reason why, because it does technically give you a positive number that's what it does but the reason why is because it calculates of how far the number is negative or positive from zero and then gives you the output so if we run this it's going to give us a hundred or oh right uh, i made a mistake that's why it has that error the reason why is because i forgot to add the other bracket for print so let me add that and then now it should work can wait a second and there we go now we have 100 so that's because negative 100 is a hundred of the number or 100 units from zero or that's how I'm going to measure it for this so yeah that's what ABS does or absolute value and yeah this video is pretty short for a uh, tutorial but I hope that this video actually taught about you can use these numbers, I mean not numbers, but these functions for maybe your game if you had something to do with math that you wanted to add, maybe it's XP or rounding so that you don't have this, these kinds of numbers. Or maybe you're trying to make a spinning wheel and you have to make it go at a certain angle. I'm not sure, but I just hope that these videos help. And before I end this video today, I just want to say that I am open to comments. I'm completely open to comments for any problems that you have. Maybe you wanted to learn some more about these, but that would be in the Roblox Wiki. It would totally have like way more information than I have taught in this video if you wanted to learn more. Or if you don't know what one of these do, for example, then you can completely ask in the comments about what your issue is. I can totally help you with it. So yeah, this is the end of the video. I'm going to wrap it up here. So yeah, ask comments if ask questions if you need to and i'll see you next sunday with a new video bye